So today I'm going to show you briefly how to make the diamond waffle stitch jar cozy. You'll be working in the round, so join each round with a slip stitch. Uh, first of all, set it up with a single crochet row around once in the one color, the darker color, and then a row of double crochet. And then you'll continue working in the rounds over on top of each other as you're going to see in. So to start off making this cactus jar cover, you chain 36 then do one row of single crochet and one row of double crochet now to work on the rows you're doing a treble crochet and you're going to start at the start doing three single crochet into the back loop of your double crochet row so three single crochet into the back loop to start off with and then if it's the first row, you're just going to go down and go around your bottom of your DC. But in this case, you're going on the previous row, doing a treble crochet under both of the previous row treble crochets to make like a diamond shape. And then you can see there that diamond shape is appearing. Then without doing anything else, you do another, work another treble crochet into the next two ones underneath. If it's your first row, you're doing it right into the back of the double crochet. So it's like an overlay crochet style where you're doing almost like a, what is it, a back post. You're going around the stitch. So you're making a double layer. Now again having a look there you count three see where my thumb is you count one two three and working three single crochet into the back loop so one two and three and then again you're going to do treble crochet or if your UK terms double treble into the two rows below going backwards and that kind of joins them together and it makes them more of a diamond shape and then again just have a look there you can see how it crosses over and you're going to go straight into another treble and again go under those and again if it's the first row and it's a setup row you've already done the pale blue double crochet row and you're just going to do the same thing as this but you're going to do it around the bottom of the stitch again you count three where my thumb is three single crochet into the back loop just pulling that through so it's not as hard as it looks there. So here is the finished holder. I worked 18 rows in total. Every row is sort of like you do it twice and you're working in the round. So have a go. Just do as many stitches as you need for your own jar to go around the jar. Good luck. Bye.